How you holding up? I heard you got an earful from Rebecca last night. Once she gets going, there's no bringing her back. Her bark's worse than her bite. She's mean. I don't like her. She did come on a little strong. How far are these fish traps? It ain't much further. Anyone teach you how to shoot? By that I mean taught proper. Any idiot with a finger can shoot. Yeah, but not a rifle. Well, that makes sense. Less kick. This thing would probably knock you on your ass. Nick was about your age, first time I took him hunting. Came across this beautiful 13-point buck just standing there on the ridge line. The boy takes the rifle, he lines up the shot just like I taught him, and then I hear him start whining. He turns to me and he says, I can't do it. I can't shoot it, Uncle Pete. Please don't make me shoot it. Really? No way. Hey! Why didn't you wait? You want us standing around while you piss on a tree? You know where the river is, boy. Anyway, so I grab the gun out of his hand before the big buck runs off, when bang, the gun fires. Boy nearly gut shot me. And of course, the buck gets away. What are you going and telling her this shit for? Because you almost blew her face off yesterday. Seems relevant. Trying to let her know it's nothing personal with you. Why are you always giving me a hard time? Because you're always giving everyone else a hard time. I apologized already. She accepted. Okay, well, I didn't know that. It's fine. He apologized. You're always trying to embarrass me. You're doing a good enough job of that on your own. Leaving us again. I know where the fucking river is. So anyway, I found that buck later that season. Shot it right in the neck. Brought it up to my sister's figuring she'd want to freeze some of the meat. Nick didn't speak to me for weeks. Sometimes you gotta play a role. Even if it means people you love hate you for it. You should tell him that. Uncle Pete! Nick! Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. Ah, full of holes. Who do you think did this? Not sure yet, but it ain't your average gang of thugs. That much I know. Think about it. You're Carver, what do you do? Who's Carver? Check those guys there. Be careful. Some of them might still be moving. What can I do? See if you can find anything else. Like what? Like what might tell us who did this. Alright, what's up everyone? Welcome back to more Telltale's Walking Dead, Season 2, Episode 1, Part 3. Hope you're enjoying the series so far, and let's get back into it. This one's shot too. Through the head? Yeah. Check the rest, and look for ammo. We're running low. Can I help? I got it. There are more out there. This wasn't no rinky dink pissing match. What was it then? Fubar. Where are you going? We need to get the fuck out of here. Gotta check the rest. What? Why? Calm down and think about it, son. Calm down? We gotta get out of here now! Jesus Christ, get a hold of yourself! Shouldn't we go get the others? Wish we could. But one of these folks might still be alive, and they just might be inclined to tell us who did this. We gotta do this now. Stay here. Keep searching these. 
This is a dumb idea. You know, Nick, I don't like this either. But sooner or later, you're gonna have to realize a simple truth. What, that you're an asshole? That nobody in this world is ever gonna give a goddamn whether you like something or not. You gotta grow up, son. Whatever. Come on, Clem. You want to be useful? Keep a lookout on that tree line. Whoever did this might still be out there, waiting for another sucker to stumble across this mess, just like baiting a fish. I'd be more useful with a gun. I don't doubt it. At some point, you guys have to trust me. Hell, I trust you. But not everyone's at that point yet. Give them time. Look, just keep your head on straight. Same deal. All shot to pieces. Hope this isn't anyone you know. No. Good. Damn it. More on that side. You check out these ones. See if there's anything on them that'll tell us who they were. What happened to you? <coughs> you were in the woods with Krista. The woman I was with. What happened to her? Please, tell me. Tell me! <coughs> Please. I'm fine. Just... just lost my footing. Damn it. God damn it. Lurkers! I'm out of ammo. Come this way. Son of a bitch. Damn it! You get your asses over here, both of I'll you! I'll cover you. We gotta get out of here. Get over here, god damn it! Can't you listen to me once? Just one time? Come on! Come on! gonna do someone's outside someone came here looking for you a man what did he say what his name was we know damn well who it was who is he one of the guys we were with before what's he gonna do Can't keep going. I figure we got about four, five more days to reach those mountains. We ain't here to rob nobody. Just relax and put the gun down, man. I thought you were dead.
choices at the conclusion of episode one, all that remains. Survival, did you try to save Krista? You and 58.8% of players stopped to help Krista. Yeah, I couldn't leave her alone in the woods with that group that cornered her, so I decided to help her escape. But, unfortunately we got separated and we have no idea what happened to her after that. Mousy, did you kill the dog? You and 52.5% of players killed the dog. I didn't really want to, it was just the way the QTE played out in that scene. So, as I said, it was a needless part of the game. And it could have been done in the way that the dog survived and ran off, therefore it would have lived. But the choices made by the game decided it was going to be killed. So I wasn't totally in agreement with that. Trust, did you accept Nick's apology? You and 50.6 players accepted Nick's apology. But when they rescued us, they didn't know who we were. So it's reasonable they'd be that way until we can prove that we're no threat and they can trust us. Generosity, do you give water to the dying man? You and 43% of players gave water to the dying man. Yeah, I thought we'd have Clementine as a caring character, even though other people can be totally different. So we gave him the water. We wanted answers, but unfortunately he died before he could give us him. Heroics, did you save Nick or Pete? You and 60.6 .6 of players went with Pete. Well, Nick's younger, faster and quicker, so he could get away. Pete is older and slower, so... It made more sense to go and save Pete. So there you go. That's my choices. Let me know in the comments if you agree with that or you did anything different when you played the game. And I'll see you on episode 2.